My name is Daniel Rama, and this is 30 minutes of Shivananda Flow. We begin by lying on the back, relaxing in Shavasana, allowing our feet to fall to the corners of the mat, arms away from the body with palms facing up. Relax your eyes, your cheeks, feeling as many points of contact between the back of the body and the mat. Take this time to relax the mind. Whatever you may have done yesterday, whatever you might need to do today, for the next half hour, none of that matters. All that does matter is this moment this practice. Relax and release. Begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bring the legs together, arms alongside the body. Inhale, stretching overhead. Exhale, knees into chest. Lightly rocking side to side. Massaging the muscles along your lower back. Take the hands under the knees, rock forwards and backwards. Rounding the spine. With your next roll forward, make your way to standing. Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutations. We begin by inhaling and exhaling, hands to heart center. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, palms on the mat. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, chin up. Retain the breath, plank position. Exhale, knees, chest, and forehead. Inhale, slide the cobra. Curl the toes, push up and back, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, left knee is down, chin is up. Exhale, left follows, relax the head and neck. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, the arms down. Inhale, exhale, heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms on the mat. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, chin up. Retain the breath, plank position. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, push forward into cobra, toes are pointed. Exhale, thighs up and back, inverted V. Inhale, left forward, right knee down, chin up. Exhale, right leg follows, relax the head and neck. Inhale, arms forward, up, slightly back. And exhale, the arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach up, exhale, palms on the mat, inhale, right leg back, retain left leg back, plank, exhale, knees, chest, forehead, inhale, cobra, exhale, inverted V, inhale, right forward, exhale, left follows, relax the head and neck, inhale, forward, up and back, Exhale, arms down. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale left back. Retain right back. Plank. Exhale knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left forward. Exhale, right follows. Relax the head and neck. Inhale, forward up, slightly back, and exhale, the arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down, inhale right, retain left, exhale down, inhale cobra, exhale V, inhale right, exhale left follows, inhale, forward up, slightly back, exhale, arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale up, 
Exhale down, inhale left, retain right, exhale down, inhale cobra, exhale V, inhale left, exhale right, inhale forward up and back, exhale arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale stretch up, exhale down, inhale right, retain left, exhale down, inhale cobra. Exhale V, inhale right, exhale left, inhale forward up and back, exhale the arms down, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down, inhale left, retain the breath, exhale down, inhale cobra, exhale V, inhale left, exhale right, inhale forward up and back, Exhale, arms down. Standing at the top of your mat, feet slightly spread for balance. Hips tucked in, knees slightly bent. Inhale, lift both arms out in front. Slowly squatting down. Once you reach the bottom, sit down and lie down. Relaxing in Shavasana. Preparations for the dolphin. Make your way to child's pose. Resting for a few breaths. On your next inhalation, rolling up. Measuring our elbows. Place the elbows on the mat. Open the arms. Extend the legs. Make your way to this V shape. As you can see, we're inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhale, exhale. Moving with your own tempo. Feel free to pause the video if necessary. All the while lifting through the core and pushing the shoulders away. Once you reach 10 repetitions, relax in child's pose for a few breaths. The next practice is Shirshasana, the headstand. If you're not familiar with this practice, repeat the dolphin exercise once or twice more. When you're ready, roll up. Measure the elbows, place them on the mat. Open the hands, placing the back of the head in the hands. Extend the legs, walk towards your face, knees to butt. Extend the hips, extend the knees. Working on your line. There should be no arching in the lower back. Contracting the core, keeping the body stable. Coming out of the posture, we reverse the process. Bending the heels towards the buttocks. Bending at the hips. Placing one foot on the mat. And resting again in child's pose. Make your way to Shavasana, spending a few breaths in Shavasana. We can roll the head from side to side, releasing your neck if you feel there is any tension. The next practice is Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. So again, if you're not familiar with this posture, you can repeat the dolphin. Otherwise, we lift both legs, lift the hips, supporting the low back with the hands. To make yourself more straight, bend the knees towards the forehead, wiggle the elbows and the shoulders closer, hands might reach higher up on the back, and when you're ready, straighten the legs, finding yourself in a more sturdy shoulder stand. Very important that you don't turn the head in this posture. Flex the right foot and lower the right leg down. Inhale back up, exhale left leg down, inhale back up. Halasana, the plow, flex both feet, slowly lower both legs down behind the head. Whether or not the toes touch the mat is not important. In fact, it's actually more difficult to keep the feet off the mat. What we should work towards is straightening the knees, curling the toes towards the head, 
and lifting the hips high. Excellent posture to close the eyes. Focus on the breath. If you'd like to roll out or come back to shoulder stand. If you're familiar with your bridge posture, when you're ready, you can lower down with one leg or with both legs, otherwise rolling out and making your way to the bridge pose. If you'd like to go to wheel, place the hands under the shoulders, lift up, and work to straighten elbows and knees. Otherwise, just lift those hips in the bridge Lowering down out of either posture, resting for a few breaths on the back. Preparation for Matsyasana, the fish. Bring the arms underneath the body, elbows working as close together as possible, fingers reaching for our heels. Inhale, push down with the elbows, lifting head and chest. Exhale and drop the crown of your head down. 90% of the effort is coming from the arms. Very little weight in the head. Breathing abdomen, ribs, and chest. Holding for one more breath. And on the next inhalation, lift the head, release the arms. Find a moment of deep relaxation. Begin to deepen your breath, wiggling the toes and the fingers, bring the legs together, arms alongside the body. Inhale, stretch overhead, Lengthen as far in either direction. Release palms to thighs, rolling up with the core. Preparing for our forward folds, remove any flesh from under the sit bones. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, folding down. If you have the flexibility, this classic posture is done with rings made by thumb and index placed around each big toe. Regardless of how far you've come in the posture, work to relax the head and neck. Eventually, through practice, the rest of the spine will follow. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up, coming to inclined plane. Bending knees towards buttocks if you have any low back issues, turning hands away if there are any wrist problems. Otherwise, we point the toes, inhale, lift the hips, Allow the head to drop back only if it's comfortable. Feel the contraction along your spine. Lifting just a little higher. And slowly lower down. Place the back of your hands on the mat, rocking side to side to release the wrists. Spin around, resting on the abdomen. One hand on top of the other. Resting one of your cheeks on this handmade pillow. Mentally preparing yourself for a series of backward bends, first of which is Bhujangasana, the Cobra. When we first come to this posture using only the strength of the back, hands under shoulders, forehead on the mat, inhale, brush forehead, nose, and chin, lifting up with only the back. Feel that you could lift the hands if you wanted to. Now begin to add the strength of the arms. Pulling the chest forward, shoulders away from ears, head can look back if it's comfortable. Inhale a little higher and slowly lower down, resting the opposite cheek on your handmade pillow. Our next posture is Shalabhasana, the locust. Bring the arms underneath the body. Elbows as close together as possible. We begin with single leg. 
Lift the right leg up. Level the hips. And lower down. Lift the left leg up. Feel the contraction along your spine and lower down. This time we come to the full posture, lifting both legs. Exhale all the air out. On your next inhalation, lift both legs. If you only get them a few inches, this is fine. There's work to push down with the arms, push down with the chin. Lift a little higher. And very slowly lower the legs. Relaxing the first cheek on your handmade pillow. The last of our backward bends is Danyurasana, the bow. We begin by bringing the forehead to the mat, grabbing the ankles with our hands. Avoid grabbing the tops of your feet, try to grab at the ankles. We begin by lifting only the knees, kicking into the hands, pulling the chest up and back. You might notice a natural rocking created by that abdominal breath. Lift a little higher and slowly lower down. Push yourself up and back, coming to extended child's pose. Rounding the spine. Finding the classic posture with arms alongside the legs. Preparation for the half spinal twist. Inhale up. Sitting to the right side of your heels. Bring the left foot over the right knee. Make sure that you have equal weight through both hips. Bring your left arm behind the body, fingertips facing away. Inhale, reach up with the right. And exhale, twist. Every time you inhale, you should lengthen the spine, open the chest. Each time you exhale, twisting deeper. On the next exhalation, releasing. Switching sides. Right foot over left thigh. Right arm behind the body. Inhale up with the left. And exhale, twist. Now if you can't yet grab your foot with the hand, that's okay, just work to keep your elbows straight, twisting as deeply as you can with the breath. One more moment. And with the next exhalation, slowly release. Releasing the spine, hug your knees in tight, lifting up. Exhale, tuck forehead to the knees. Inhale up once more. Exhale round. Shift your weight forward to a squat or practice the crow. Arms shoulder width apart. Elbows bent. Bring your knees high up on the triceps. Gradually shift the weight forward. For some we might only want to lift one foot. Others might feel comfortable coming to the full posture. Choosing to have either straight elbows or bent elbows. Looking forward. Now if you can't yet balance in this posture, don't worry. Just work to shift the weight forward to your fingertips. Coming out of the posture, bringing our hands together to release the wrists. And make your way to standing. Padahastasana, inhale the arms up, exhale folding forward, relaxing the head and neck, making contact with arms and legs. Some like to put the hands underneath the toes, others grab at the ankles or the backs of the calves. Whichever version is more comfortable. Relaxing into gravity, relaxing with the breath. Now you release the neck, shake the head no, nod the head yes. On your next inhalation, rolling up, chin lifting last. 
Standing sideways on your mat, tree kanasana, the triangle. Turn the right foot out. Make sure that both hip bones are facing forward. Inhale up with the left arm. Exhale, bending to the right. Breathing with the ribs. Feel that you are supported primarily through the core. Very little weight is actually in the right arm. Inhale up. Switching your feet, turning the left out. Hips forward. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reaching to the left. Keep your palm facing the earth, turning our chest up to the sky. Inhale, reach the arm up. Step to the top of your mat, stand with eyes closed, arms heavy alongside the body. With your next inhalation, lift both arms. If you'd like to challenge your balance, lifting the heels, squatting down until you sit down and lie down, relaxing in Shavasana. Final relaxation. First, we tense and release all our muscles. Lifting both legs, contract the legs, lift both arms, squeeze the core, squeeze the face, squeezing everything, and drop. Open the eyes, open the mouth, roll the eyes back, stick the tongue out, exhale, and release. Roll the head right, back to center, and left, back to center. Pull the neck down and release. Make any final adjustments. Feel completely satisfied in your Shavasana. Mentally repeat after me. I relax my feet, ankles and calves. I relax my feet ankles and calves. I relax my feet, ankles and calves. I relax my knees, thighs and hips. I relax my knees, thighs and my hips. My knees, thighs and hips sorry relax. I relax my lower back, middle back, upper back. My whole back is relaxing. My lower back, middle back, and the upper back are completely relaxed. I relax my abdomen, ribs, and chest. I relax my abdomen, ribs, and chest. I relax my abdomen, ribs, and chest. I relax my arms, elbows, and shoulders. I relax my arms, elbows, and shoulders. I relax my arms elbows and my shoulders. I relax my neck, head and all the muscles of my face. I relax my neck, head and all the muscles of my face. I relax my neck, head and all the muscles of my face. 
internal organs are relaxing. Internal organs are relaxing. My internal organs are completely My breath is relaxing. My breath is relaxing. My breath is soft, silent, and completely My mind is relaxing. My mind is relaxing. My mind is calm, clear, and completely relaxed. Begin to wiggle toes, fingertips, moving the feet and the hands, very slowly bring the legs together, arms alongside the body, inhale and stretch the arms overhead, release and roll to the right side, Resting with your upper arm as a pillow. Very slowly, push yourself up. Join me in a cross leg position. You might like to elevate the hips with a cushion or a block. We sit for a few minutes of silent meditation. Begin by bringing awareness to the body. Sitting with the legs crossed. Hands and chin mudra on the knees. Spine is tall and straight. Yet the muscles around the spine are relaxed. Bring your awareness to the breath. Inhaling for three seconds. And exhaling for three seconds. Gradually relaxing the breath, allowing it to become more soft, more silent, yet keeping it rhythmic. Gather all the rays of your mind, bring them together to the point between the eyebrows, the Ajna Chakra, or at the heart center, the Anahata Chakra. Whichever location you find more comfortable, more natural. Finally, Begin to repeat the mantra OM, or your own personal mantra, with the breath. 
Om as you inhale. Om as you exhale. This is the practice for the next few minutes. My name is Daniel Rama, and this has been 30 Minutes of Shivananda Flow. I hope you've enjoyed the class. I hope you share it with friends and family. I hope you have a beautiful day. I see God in you. Om Namah Shivaya.